Hey, this is me with my hair. This is how much it has grown. What I have left to do. This is a plait and this is a twist. I'm going to be styling my hair in twists. And in the back, it is uneven. But I'm going to go ahead and finish it and make it someone to help cut the back to make it even. But here you go in the thinning and the gray. Aging gracefully. But it's mine and I'm going to go ahead on it. Go with it. I said to myself, um, I can, why am I not allowing my hair to gray? And to be grateful for it because there are people who may not live to see gray hairs. And my husband is gray. He's salt and pepper. Why am I choosing to look younger than him as in like he's robbing the cradle? I choose to age with my husband gracefully and we grow together in love products that I'm using in my hair and it is the Onion Handmade Burnt Sugar Pomade this is a product that I wanted to finish using I got a ways to go y'all and I have the curling cream by African Pride Moisture Miracle Shea Butter and Flax Seed Oil and this says Moisture Moisturize and define curling cream. I got it upside down, y'all. Sorry. And this is how much I have of this left. Now, I usually use the leave-in conditioner with it, but I don't have that, so... I don't know if I'm gonna spend some more money and get that again, but it does smell good. And I'm also using the Shine and Jam. And this is how much I have left of that. Now this, I think I would repurchase again. It's lightweight to me and it's, it, it, I did it and used it in my daughter's hair, both of my girl's hair, I think. And when I looked at their hair, how it made their hair texture look with the, um, style that I gave them I really like this so I plan on purchasing that again and I also have the Shea Moisture Red Palm Oil and Coconut Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner this is my first time buying this I forget it must have been a sale or something but anyway I, it might have been what a sale that I had from Sally's a while back but I'm going ahead and finish this I don't know about purchasing it again but Hey, I wanted to try it out. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I braid my hair. Okay, here are the tools that I use, that I'm using. My hair clips to section off my hair and to move it out the way so that I can first braid it, then turn it into twist. My mirror so that I will be able to see the back of my head, which I had already completed, my brush, my red tail comb, and my shampoo brush, which is what I used to detangle my hair with. Evenly distributed, oh, I said not evenly, but blend it in. And I'm gonna do a piece. I'm gonna show you how I do it, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I braid and then twist my hair. If I can get in here, excuse me, I'm gonna be looking in the mirror. And I get the piece that I want, section it off, and I compare it and then look in the back to see how um, thick it is. I'm gonna take some of this I'm putting my hair because it is feeling really dry and I do notice that the Shea Moisture leave-in 
It seemed to be good while I'm while it's in my hair and it's wet, but when it dries, I'm not getting anything like more moisture seem like in my hair. It like it's not doing anything for me. So that is one reason why I probably won't buy it again. And I just put in the shining jam. And you can see how my ends are looking. And I'm going to take some shine and jam and put on my ends, like about that much. See the color is changing in here. And then I'm gonna take my comb, my shampoo brush rather, and comb through the hair. And I just be trying to make sure I put enough of the Make sure that it's parted correctly, neatly. I'm gonna take some of this to like keep the flyaway hairs out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and part it. And I'm gonna take my clamps and hold the hair back out of the way and i already took a piece of the gray and this which is probably in the front most of my hair i'm gonna sometime i i did it before this is my second time doing this style i had every other braid or twist in the front i used to some of this is the conditioner leave-in conditioner that I'm using to put on the hair. But, um, excuse me, every other braid or twist I had sectioned off. I mean, I had completed instead of doing all of the hair mixed with the gray. And we're gonna braid it in. Braid it in enough to where I may need to put a clamp here. I'm probably breathing hard, y'all. You don't realize you're doing it till you hear yourself on the video. Okay, and it is sectioned. Now I'm gonna twist. And I tried to blend the hair in, but I'm looking at this one. It, it's not looking the way I wanted it to look. So, but I am twisting the hair. So I'm gonna see how this one is gonna be. And then I'll come back and show you what I thought. This is my hair so far. I finished all up to here. So I have two more rows to do and I will be done. Excuse that noise out there. I don't know why they're driving like that and we're in a resident. And they are driving in a residential area. Anyway, you can see how thin my hair is. But I'm still grateful I still have strands. So this is how much I have left. And I should be done. Be back when I finish. I'm on my last twist and I'm going to do it on here. Y'all bear with me. I already moisturized my extension and here we go. And hopefully it will be fine. Y'all excuse the noise in the background. My husband is watching Queen Sugar and I'm trying to get in there and see some of it myself. Okay. 
can I bring it around my hair? This is my hair, which is thin, but I still have hair, praise God. And then I start to bring the other hair over and twist. No longer plaiting, but twisting. And it's taking a minute to do. And hopefully it's not too bad with my wide parts because of thinning hair. Thinning hair. And I'm looking at the braid. The way I say the twist. My husband, I guess he just wants to be the star of the show. And I be telling him at times I'm doing video and he still... I guess gotta get used to me doing it. Doing videos again. And I'm finishing at the end. And I'm gonna clip this because I don't want it looking like that. I don't want it looking raggly. So I'm trying to cut it even with the other hair. And I'm done. And this is how it looks. And I usually, when I first get it done, I will do it up like this. Or, and later on, I'll just be wearing it up in a ponytail most of the time. I'm trying to get this rubber band off, y'all, excuse me. Because I don't wanna pull it too much because my hair I may just wear it and make sure I have it and this is the back it really looked like that um, and here I can maybe part it here and bring it over And you can see how my hair is with the part or put it over this side. And you can see. Whichever way I decide to wear it. And sometimes I may just wear it like this. But I usually have it up. And I'm not gonna put it up right now because I don't want to pull my hair because it's like freshly done. So I don't wanna put a whole lot more tension to my hair because of that reason I'm trying to get it to grow. And it did grow and I'm gonna eventually have to cut the end, clip the ends because it seems to be Ragley, so if I the product don't help it, then usually I will try to clip the ends, but I'm not a one who is a person who will cut their hair all the time. I'm trying not to have to cut my hair. But anyway, hope you like my style and check out the products and go out and get you some. You all be blessed. Bye.